I think the next question we should ask is, what is it that is causing us to systematically emit ever more CO2 into the atmosphere? Well, I think I know the answer to that. It's, it's the same thing that causes us to emit more and more of all kinds of waste into the biosphere. Namely, it is our irrational commitment to exponential growth forever on a finite planet subject to the laws of thermodynamics. If we can overcome this growth idolatry, then we could go on to ask a really intelligent question, such as, how can we design and manage a steady state economy? That is, one that respects the limits of the biosphere. Instead of asking that question, we ask a wrong-headed, growth-bound question, specifically, by how much will we have to increase energy efficiency or carbon efficiency in order to maintain customary growth rates in GDP? Well, suppose we get an answer to that question. Say we need to double efficiency every 10 years, and we actually do it. So what? We will then just do more and more of all of the things that have become more efficient and therefore cheaper, and we'll end up emitting the same amount of waste or even more into the biosphere. So this is known as the rebound effect or sometimes the Jevons effect. Uh, a policy of efficiency first does not give us frugality second. In fact, it makes frugality less necessary. To put it in the 19th century words of the economist William Stanley Jevons, quote, it is wholly a confusion of ideas to suppose that the economical use of fuel, that is the efficient use of fuel, wholly a confusion of ideas to suppose that the economical use of fuel is equivalent to a diminished consumption. The very contrary is the truth. So our energy policy today, as I read it, is mostly about efficient patterns of consumption. That phrase is used over and over again, efficient patterns of consumption, and not at all about sustainable aggregate levels of consumption. It is wholly a confusion of ideas to suppose that an efficient pattern allocation of energy consumption is equivalent to or even leads to a sustainable aggregate level, that is scale, of energy consumption. But if we go for frugality first, that is the sustainable level first, as our direct policy goal, for example, a uh, cap auction trade system or even a carbon tax, then we will get efficiency second as an adaptation to more expensive carbon fuels. Uh, that, that frugality first gives us efficiency second, not vice versa, should be our second general principle in thinking about climate policy. Frugality is the recognition of scarcity. Efficiency is an adaptation to scarcity that makes it less painful. Efficiency is not the abolition of scarcity, the so-called win-win solution beloved by politicians and conjurers. Now, the second thing wrong, I believe, with our misleading question is its assumption that we need to maintain current growth rates of GDP. This is just taken as a, as a sacred given. Uh, but there's a lot of evidence that GDP growth at the current margin in the United States is in fact uneconomic growth. That is, growth that increases social and environmental costs faster than it increases production benefits. That is, growth that accumulates ilth faster than it accumulates wealth. I think the English language needs that word ilth, the opposite of wealth. It was coined uh, by John Ruskin many years ago, but so far has not made it in the most dictionaries. Well, I know that there's still poverty in many countries, 
and that in many parts of the world, GDP growth is still economic. All the more reason, however, for the rich countries to stop uneconomic growth in order to free up resources and ecological space for the truly economic growth by the remaining poor. That should be the third principle, uh, stop uneconomic growth. Well, in conformity with these three design principles, I'd like to very briefly suggest uh, 10 more specific policies. Now, uh, 10 is an arbitrary number, uh, but it's important to have some definite proposals, and uh, 10 is just, I don't know, a good number. There are 10 suggestions, not 10 commandments. Um, they're discussed somewhat more fully in another paper which was submitted to the conference as well. So uh, I'll just hit, hit the Bain highlight quickly. 